Welcome to our show. So are you guys struggling to catch fish in the summer heat? Or maybe you're struggling to catch fish because you haven't caught that many and you're new at it. Well, if so, this guide is for you. We decided to dedicate an entire episode to help you guys catch fish. So this is what works best for me. Not necessarily the best thing, but it works for me and hopefully it'll work for you. So this is what I am using personally. And this is a St. Croix Triumph Surf Rod. This is a nine foot medium power rod. It can really whip the, the bait out there. The perks of getting an expensive rod, expensive reel, is the warranty. The warranty, the warranty. Everything you get is an investment. The more money you pay, most of the time, the better quality it'll be, the more reliable it will be. Below, I'm gonna put some links for some cheaper, lower end surf rods that I think would be just as good. Next, we're gonna talk about the spinning reel. I would recommend a bait runner, a Shimano bait runner, just like I'm using right here. By clicking this down, it sets the drag automatically. So if a fish pulls it, you won't lose your rod. When you're fishing saltwater, salt will stick on the lines and get into your reel. Don't use your freshwater reels in the saltwater because the saltwater will eventually just corrode it and destroy it. Braid is very, very strong. The thing with braid is that it does not stretch. It's one, very sensitive, and two, when you set the hook, you know you got it. If you're just using straight braid, fish are able to see that braid, and some people think that fish will spook when they see that line. There are a lot of different kind of rigs, but I'm only gonna talk about this one rig, and this is my, by far, my favorite rig, and I can guarantee you'll catch fish, the Sabiki rig. Just buy one of these, and with these hooks you put on bait, or you can just, you know, you, honestly, you, sometimes you don't even need bait. You can, just, you can just jig it up and down, and they look like little fish. And on the bottom, you can attach whatever sinker you need. They're cheap, they're easy, and they're effective. If you want to pick one kind of bait, I'd say I'd pick squid, because it stays on really well, and it smells horrible. It smell, it's just very fishy. It's got a really strong scent, something that fish are attracted to. I would also, I would say blood worms, but they come off really easily and squid will do the job anywhere you go. What I do is I cut them into strips like this. You're not going to just put it in once like that. That's not going to be good because a, a fish will just rip it right off. You see how it just came right off? So what we're going to do is loop it multiple times. So two, three times. Okay? We're gonna use this arm as a lever and just pull this down. Just like that. So since we're using a sabiki, this is a bottom rig. Make sure your sinker goes down to the bottom and sits there. Watch your line, wait for a pull. That's all you gotta do. Nice. And that was on cut squid. I think these get a lot bigger. This is a small baby one. Wow, look at that. That's so pretty. That is. I like to classify fishing in two categories. One, there's the lazy fishing, which is having a sinker and a piece of bait and casting it out, sitting in your chair, drinking a beer, or if you're underage, a Kool-Aid, perhaps a Capri Sun. And then there's the second, which is like tying on different lures, casting it out there repeatedly, reeling it back in. I like the analogy of uh, a lazy fisherman is like, they're, they're kind of like trapping the fish. Whereas an active fisherman, they're hunting for fish. Something that's really cool about my channel and just YouTube in general, uh, this was not available to our previous generation of fishermen. Uh, this is something very new. It has changed fishing forever. It's never gonna be the same again because of channels like my channel, of channels like One Rod, of channels like Andrew Flair. When you're commenting on these posts, you're not just talking to the creator of the channel, but you're talking to the entire world. So it's important to comment. It's important to share. And you'll be able to figure out how people are fishing from all over the world. 
We need advocates. We need people who are gonna help us help other people. I need you to comment below and say, I want to help. I am this person and I like doing this kind of fishing. And that way, other people who have questions about different kinds of fishing that we don't necessarily know the answers to, they can look in our comments and they can see that you're an expert and they could ask you questions. If you're someone who really needs help, who has a lot of questions, who is trying to reach out to people and not getting a lot of answers, look below for the experts. Look for those people who are saying, I wanna help other people and ask them questions. Hopefully they'll answer you. I've been spitting out a lot of information at one time for you guys and you guys are probably thinking, oh my God, this is, this is like too much to handle right now. Don't freak out, okay? This, it's actually really easy. Check below. Once you get the gear, it's all about getting out there and trying and experimenting. You don't learn how to fish from one person talking to you on YouTube. You learn how to fish by going out there and trying different things and talking to new people and finding new methods and experimenting. Not by sitting at home watching me talk to you for 10 minutes. That's not how you do it. That's a good start, but you gotta get out there. We hope that this guide will be useful to you guys for now and for years to come, but we have a special announcement. We are now introducing a new series that we are going to call Tech Tuesdays, and this is for all you digital fishermen. So with this new series, we're gonna be talking about what kind of gear do we use? What kind of um, planning do we do before each of our shoots? Um, what kind of programs we use to edit? So we will have Fishing Fridays and Tech Tuesdays. We are leaving to Montauk, New York to fish the uh, fall migration of the stripers. It's gonna be freaking crazy. Like, I hear this is the best surf fishing in all of America. Yeah, we'll be live streaming our entire trip to Montauk, New York all next weekend. So make sure to follow us on Instagram at Sanko Skipper and Sanko you very much. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next week.